combine weedy beans. I'm not sure if this will be blurry or show up. There's a clean green tank. A few pods out there. Nice day. It's probably 50. October 22nd, 23rd. So these are my uh, rain sample. There's a few unthreshed pods. My moisture is a little high. I think it's at 14.5%. The thing that drove me to, to combine now is the fact that I have so many weeds and I need to um, make sure they can go through the combine. I had to modify the feeder house, which is essentially the throat of this machine, in order to get all this dry material and dry weed material to pass through. So the combine's taken this field, I've already done that bit on the right, the combine's taken all these weeds and uh, you can sort of see a little patch of soybeans down in here and uh, sorting, threshing. This was uh, a real challenge this year. I had a lot of mechanical problems, I had agronomic problems, I had blight, damping off, fungus. An understatement would be it's not that good year for the beans. There's a few in there, but basically uh, I get cost back. It's not a money-making proposition, barely maybe. That's not the important thing. I think I've learned how to modify this machine now to be able to handle this amount of bulk material. It's not designed. Deer wasn't really sure how to do that, but uh, New Ag Talk, there's a gentleman, there's a people on New Ag Talk, the forum, who had some really good ideas about how to modify this, so I want to thank them for any of them that have watched this. I'm not too far from home, right there.